Well guys, it's a very hot and humid day here in Shenzhen. You will not believe just how sweltering it is. Anyway, um, I'm going to walk into Huachan Bay, which is the uh, sort of electronics capital of, well, of China, really. Uh, and this is where everything sort of originates in China. All the fake cell phones and all the uh, legitimate stuff too you can get here. Um, you know, all the tablet PCs, the cheap Android stuff. And of course, uh, you can basically get anything you want there, legitimate and fake. What I'm going to be doing is two things. Number one, I'm going to be replacing a keyboard for a laptop that I spilt champagne on the other day. Number two, I'm going to be looking at what are now fairly good Chinese phones. So smartphones that actually are considered to be um, good, you know. Up until now, Chinese phones, you know, the smartphones are usually, uh, have usually been cheap knockoffs things that you wouldn't really want to use because they break or they're unresponsive or they just poor quality in design and manufacture but recently there have been a couple that have been coming out which are actually really good um, and they've been getting really good reviews lots of people have been talking about them so I'm going to go and check these sort of more premium phones out we're gonna go take a look at them try them out and I might even buy one which yeah, well, here's a Xiaomi shop. Xiaomi. Let's take a look. This is a demo model here. I don't think that's real. Space model. Oh, that's actually very nice. The build quality on it is really good. That's me taking a video of myself. Cool. I must say, I'm impressed with the build quality. It's not bad, eh? Oh, Pete's here, by the way. Hi. Yeah. yeah. It's always been my Yeah. I mean, for the price, what's the spec on this thing? It says, uh, um, media tech. 1.4 gigahertz. 1.4 gig, um, quad core. Yeah. Sorry, no, 8 core. No, 8 core, yeah, this is. Back here. Yeah. Back here. 8 gigs of storage. Yeah, that's his Jiao Tong Ban 1 gigabyte. This is Turbia Ban, I mean, special. Oh, special one. one. One gig or two gig storage, right? Yeah. Actually, that's a very similar spec to the other. That's a very similar spec to the other. Well, I'm just saying, like, the actual build quality of this thing is really nice. It feels solid. Yeah. Um, what megapixel? Five. Five, uh, five, me five megapixel camera, 1.3 megapixel front-facing camera. Well, okay. What else can we do to test this thing? No, hold on. I'm oh, sorry. Yeah, 13 megapixels. Is it dirt? No, isn't that one? That's that first. One. Okay. So yeah. It's 13 megapixel main camera, 5 megapixel front camera. Okay. Interesting. Well, it's going to be locked to some or other network, isn't it? Really? I really like the display. Just need a toy harder, man. I will get him. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, that's cool. Let's see this one. It says this is the best one. 1999. Let's see. It's actually very nice, uh, once again, the camera. Cool. So this one, ah, uh, yeah, it's a 2 megapixel front facing camera. Yeah, that's his whole, that's his chin. So 2, two megapixel front facing, uh, 13 megapixel camera. 
uh, what else? Two gigabits ROM, 16 gigabits of uh, storage, I guess. Five inch, 1920 by 1080, so it's full, full HD. Yeah. Yeah. Two, two gig RAM, 16 gig flat. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's for 1,999 RMB. It's really, considering what you're getting. Once again, the build quality is really nice here. Yeah, it's a nice big screen. Let me just compare that to my my Nexus. I compare it in size to my Galaxy Nexus 4. Yeah, big difference. Yeah, much bigger. It's very nice. How about that for a thousand RMB phone? That's a thousand, eh? Yeah, fine, nine, nine. What's that one got? Um, 720 720p display, 8 megapixel camera, no front camera. That's four, really good. Four, four, one point five six, six, six. That's four, only four gigs of storage. Okay, well that one's the same one, right? Let's take a quick look at that. So this is the 1000 RMB, which is also very nice. Like the build quality yeah. is really good. The phone's always been really nice. I mean, we're talking about really nice. I mean, this is really nice. The quality, the feel. Take a look. It's only a thousand RMB. Wow. Giga ROM. Can it take an SD card? Probably can. I see it. Looks like it can all open up. Hong Mi Xiao Ji. Hong Mi, yeah. Wow, that's really good. Red rice. Yeah, right. <laughs> that's it. So red rice is only a thousand RMB. A red rice and and the bike. Yeah. And the best one is the Xiaomi 3, which is this one for 1999. I know you can get it cheaper. I've seen it for 1699 on special somewhere. It's really awesome. So yeah. I'm thinking about buying one of these. I'm actually thinking about getting one of these and doing a giveaway where I send it to someone overseas. <laughs> yeah, I mean, why not? 4.7 inch, 1280 by 720, 8 megapixel camera. Um, that is the front, I mean, the back camera. It doesn't say anything about the front. There is no front camera. No, there is. Maybe it's a rubbish one. It might be VJ or something. Yeah, maybe. I just took a photo with it, it looked okay. Swap around. What do you think it is? 1.3 maybe? 1.3, yeah. Yeah. Not bad though. Yeah, it's really not bad. Cool. Either way, it's not bad. What's the CPU in that thing? What's the CPU in this? It's a full... It's, it is quad core. 1.5 quad core, yeah. Maybe MediaTek? No, no, no. Still, it's a quad core processor. Yeah. Nothing wrong with the MediaTek. Yeah. So, I mean, we're talking about a fairly capable phone here for 999 RMB. That's awesome. 150 US. Yeah, 150 US dollars. Cool, let's move on. This is an Oppo. The quality is really, really good, but the price, it's like 2,999. You're entering big brand territory prices there. You may as well go buy a Samsung or something. Really nice screen though. What is it? It's um Well it supports GBRS Edge, TD, SCDMA, TD LTE. LTE. Um, everything's hidden away. Oh there it is. Find seven. It does LTE as well. This is their top of the line on three and a half. But I must say, I'm incredibly impressed by the um, just how, how well these things work and how good they look. I mean, I'd rather go for the Find 7. It's got some That's kind of... Really nice part. It really is. It's got some kind of special charge, 8 minutes, and it will charge 20%, um, 112 minutes. Yeah. That is, yeah, that's right. 30, 30 minutes gets you 75% charge. That's very, very impressive, impressive, yeah. Here's another very well-known brand, it's Huawei. Let's take a look, this is 2100. It's 
very nice uh, build quality, 8 megapixel camera. Yeah, that thing's massive. It's 2388. Wow. Ah, you've set it off, have you? You have a very interesting um, way of setting things off. That's awesome. Ridiculous, isn't it? Yeah, but it is still a fun, isn't it? Well, this is still a very nice phone. So Huawei is another brand to consider. It's not nearly as good as a fine G though. This, this is a very nice looking phone actually. It's the Huawei P6. Um, wow, that's really good. Two, well, it's 2688. Um, Oh, two, 2188, sorry, discount, yeah. What is it? It's a 720p display, 5 megapixel front facing, 8 megapixel rear. Quad core 1.5 gig. Quad core 1.5, okay. Oh, what's that? Interesting. Yeah, it's really awesome though. I mean, uh, the build quality is. It's fairly good, feels very light. Okay, this is a T THL, which is a blatant knockoff of uh, HTC if you look at the logo. But it's still a nice phone for the price. This one's only 1699. One um, how much is that one? 1299? Uh, what's it like? Not bad. Yeah, it's really not bad at all. Once again, the build quality is fairly good. Oh, look, it's a cool pad. Why is, why is oh, that? that? A cool pad. Oh, that is a cool pad. Never mind. <laughs> that's why we're looking at. Um, sorry, this is China Unicom. So that's the cool pad. Now we can take a proper look at a cool pad. This is the, I guess, a cheaper one. But, um, yeah. It's you. What? Pink Note 3. Nah, bugger off. Yeah. Yeah, anyway, that's. Uh, not a bad little phone for the price. Cool. Just to like put things in perspective, this is only 999, right? But you know, you're getting a really good full-featured smartphone for almost nothing. You know, this is the Huawei uh, G610 Plus. Really nice. Strange that all these phones are like set to selfie mode. Unfortunately, we don't have a real model. This is a space model, but there yeah. you have one over there. Uh, real one? Oh, really? Really? Okay, good. Only eight ninety nine on special. It's really good. Let's this? take a look. Lauren Trilogy. Yeah, it's for all people. Yeah. This one. Uh, yeah. Oh, thank you. All right, so let's take a look. What this is for? This is Joe Joe Joe. Uh, Jiao TCL phone. Hmm. Okay. Okay, 999. Okay, so it's a 8 megapixel behind, a 5 megapixel in front. Hey guys. Leaving my mark all over the markets here. That's a really nice phone for what you get, eh? Oh, it takes two SIM cards. Wow, okay, two SIM cards. Um, micro SD expansion. It's a really nice display. It's a nice display. What's the resolution on that? Doesn't say, eh? Still, I mean, for what you're paying for. Probably 720 by 1080. Okay, I have a white one as well. Oh, this is it. Hmm. Okay, well here we can tell... The only annoying thing is it's on TDS CDMA, so if you're using it with Unicom, you only get a GSM rate. If you use it with China Mobile, you get... Okay. So it is a 720p um, display. GPU. Oh, yeah. That's quite nice. I mean, for what you're paying for. That says also that it's a uh, eight core. Is that, is that possible? It's probably a big little thing. Okay. If you have four high-speed cores and four 
1.4. Yeah. yeah, that's interesting. So, 1.4 gigahertz 8 core processor. Very nice. Very nice for what you get. And two SIM cards, that's great. Yeah, I mean, really. Maybe I'll get one of these and have a giveaway. But it won't work that well in overseas markets, no. right? One do you might What a pity. What about the that uh, little rice one? The, 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 the W C D my W C D my work. Right. And he's got a grandma and grandpa button on. This one has a grandma and grandpa button on it. Yeah. Literally. See if we can zoom in. Focus you piece of rubbish. Focus. Grandma and grandpa. And it actually is called a Lauren Shoji. Lauren Shoji, yeah. Means old people's phone. Easy 901. Yeah. He, yeah, old people's Grandpa and grandpa. Right? Yeah, well, that's maybe mother and father or yeah. something, or daughter and son. That's probably what it's for, daughter and son. You know, that's really interesting. Also an old person's phone. I Lauren think, I, think, I think I need one. I like the way, yeah, they've all got that sort of daughter's, uh, one, daughter's son. Just as a yeah. That's really interesting. Everything's big. Huh. So if you're old... So I could use it even the glass stop. I'm yeah. going to go... Yeah, it's cheap. Sam? I mean, they're like 400 RMB. That's awesome. Old people's phones. We said I'd call you hello, Moto. Yeah. Back to the original task, and that involves walking through some pretty awful, terrible traffic and... What do you call it? Um, heat. There's a lot of construction going on here. We're going to go find a keyboard for this computer. Um, we've seen most of the phones. And uh, so far, the best quality one by far is that Oppo Find 7. Um, and then, like, the good quality, like, low-priced ones, the Xiaomi for sure. Alright, so this is what I'm buying. I'm buying a... Is it Yeah, it's a This is it, the, um... This is a red rice. I'll unbox it for you later. Let me just pay for this thing. Alright, so I am now buying this for 999 and uh, I'll be unboxing it. Right, so I'm quite sure that uh, you've seen from this video that the Chinese are producing much better quality phones these days. It's not just all cheap knockoff junk. Um, yes, most of the designs are inspired by others. Um, no, no doubt about that. But the actual build quality and um, the, the functions, everything that these phones have these days are, are top class. I was very impressed with the uh, Oppo Find 5, actually, sorry, Find 7. Um, hang on. I'm busy being swept on here. <laughs> and uh, I was also very impressed with the Xiaomi. And uh, well, let's just cut forward to a little something. I got a surprise for you guys. Okay, guys, so I am now the proud owner of a Xiaomi smartphone. Um, but actually, I'm not the proud owner because one of you guys is the proud owner. Um, this is my little surprise to all of you guys. Basically, I thought I'd uh, show my appreciation to all of my subscribers, specifically the guys who've bought me a beer on Facebook. Um, so I'm going to basically make a little bit of a raffle, like a lucky draw. I'm going to pick a random name from all the people who've bought me a beer and I'll be sending you this phone. I'm going to do an unboxing video so you get, you'll get to see exactly what it looks like and how it works and then I'll send it off. Don't worry, I won't be using it or carrying it around. I'll just unbox it, make a video and then uh, I will also make a video of me posting it off. Um, I'll have to pop over to Hong Kong to send it because sending a post from China is actually a lot more expensive and a lot more stringent. Sending from Hong Kong is easier and cheaper, so I'll be doing that. Anyway, I uh, just thought I'd let you know. But now, um, like I said, I'm going to do an unboxing video. I'm sure all of you are very keen to see exactly what the phone looks like and all its functions and all that nonsense. So I'm going to make that a separate video, um, which I'll film tonight. But don't worry about it, you don't have to wait long because I'm planning to upload that video straight after this one. And so probably by the time you finished watching this video, the unboxing video would have been uploaded to my channel. So uh, here's the link over here. Try not to get killed here. There's the link. Um, and uh, if the link hasn't appeared just yet, that's because it's still uploading. But it'll be there shortly. Anyway guys, once again, 
thank you to all of my subscribers for watching my videos and uh, you know I might not be a wealthy man but I can gauge my wealth by all of you guys out there um, you know it's really you all mean a lot to me every single one of my subscribers not just the ones who bought me beer but I feel that the guys who actually went ahead and bought me beer deserve a shot at this phone so um, can't wait I'll do the uh, raffle draw as part of the unboxing video so see you all in that video until next time guys stay awesome <laughs>